Now, before the break, we were obviously talking about the Amazon HQ2, but what folks may have missed in the conversation is this gave life to a whole new yeah. initiative to help deal with the housing challenges that we had been discussing before. Tell me a little bit about Housing Arlington. Oh, Kara, I'm, I'm so excited about the Housing Arlington initiative, and I think it's really exemplary of what is uh, somewhat unique and so special about Arlington, that we, our history has been one of citizen-driven planning, and this is all about how are we going to make sure that we meet the housing needs. So there's no question in the conversation about Amazon, and even before we, you know, Amazon's arrival, housing has been top of mind uh, for Arlingtonians. We have, it's very hard, uh, almost no matter what income level you're at, but very hard to find housing in Arlington. And we've had these sort of disparate uh, uh, programs. We've had, uh, uh, through our affordable housing master plan and our affordable housing investment fund that developers contribute to, that we contribute from the general fund to each year, uh, looking at uh, developing subsidized, committed affordable units for those making uh, usually below 60% of area median income. Uh, we have other programs that look, look at other ways of, for permanent supportive housing and, and other aspects of the population, but we've never really taken a holistic look. So this is all about looking holistically. This initiative will be, it's the, it's the ask of the board of our staff that they will be coming back to us in, uh, in April with a set of options to begin to look at these community conversations about what are the different tools. We've been talking about missing middle housing right. for housing of different uh, housing uh, options and types for those in the middle income uh, of 80 to 120 percent of area median income. And it's all going to be grounded, and this is what's so neat, and look an eye towards equity, uh, stability, and adaptability. And those are the key guiding principles. It's really going to be exciting, and uh, folks should stay tuned and, and look forward to the opportunities to talk about how we can modernize our zoning ordinance, how we're going to develop new financial tools to in, uh, incentivize new kinds of housing that we just don't see right now in the county, uh, and there's a lot more to come. And the um, vote on Amazon really kind of helped pave the way for this kind of initiative, bring it to the forefront, correct? Well, this is something that we've been planning to do for a while. It's bringing together all of the various desires of board members and what we're hearing from the community to really get at the, the current issues that are facing uh, people when it comes to housing affordability. Amazon certainly, I think, accelerated and gave it a little bit more juice. But that's the same with a lot of these conversations that we're having in our, in our region. Uh, the Amazon announcement has really, I think, just given, given that clarity to everyone that this is not anything that we can sort of put on the agenda for later. We have to actually Let's do, do it now. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what you're seeing with us.